Hello, good evening, professor and students. My name is Hussam Shalabi, and today I will be talking to you about uh, why uh, school teachers should or shouldn't have guns. Um, since, as you already know, uh, in the last 10 years, there's been several school shootings, unfortunately, in which, you know, several people have died including staff members and students uh, ranging from you know four years old up to you know adults so the purpose of this uh, speech is to have a discussion about whether school shootings uh, can be prevented where, where teachers have guns now school shootings dominate policy discussions about school safety currently. Of the five deadliest school shootings in our history, four happened in the last 10 years, uh, most prominently Uvalde, Texas. Uh, therefore, will teachers carrying firearms improve school safety? I beg to differ. I believe that most school shootings are preventable, preventable where bullying fighting, drugs, and other crimes are prevented. But let's discuss. Uh, why are school shootings happening? Well, as mentioned before, bullying is by far the primary cause that, that causes school shooting incidents. According to the article uh, from uh, the New York Times uh, called Trained, Armed, and Ready to Teach Kindergarten, 48% of school shootings, according to a survey, happen because of bullying. Um, so, what would be the best response? I would argue that unhealthy environments are the primary cause of school shooting incidents. Arming school teachers is not necessarily the solution and the numbers can tell us the truth. Uh, the numbers say that where school teachers are armed, um, school shootings are not prevented necessarily. Uh, reaction times are not uh, better It also. Um, for instance, when looking at law enforcement reaction times, you know, they're amazing. They're under four minutes after you call 911. They're, they're at the school in less than four minutes but a shooter is capable of shooting more than 100 bullets in about six minutes. So is that the real solution? Now, let's look at the facts. Uh, the number of districts with armed staff members uh, can give us a, an idea of how this a school teacher having guns phenomenon has grown. Uh, in Florida alone, 45 out of the 74 school districts have armed staff members. In the United States, about 2.6% of staff members have guns and or more. You know, it, the number could be growing fast at the moment. But should we be spending our taxpayer dollars in training uh, school teachers to have guns? Or should we spend it elsewhere? Should we, for example, spend it in prevent preventing bullying i think that's the solution um, however let's look at some of the school safety laws that are being discussed uh, to understand uh, what solution could be better uh, first of all enacting red flag laws that allow judges to suspend a person's access to guns if they are deemed a threat could be a solution uh, also closing loopholes and background checks for purchasing firearms, uh, raising the minimum age to 21 for purchasing assault type uh, rifles, uh, also funding mental health resources, um, also making the sale of firearms more strict, uh, improving building security, drills, and social emotional learning programs. Um, you know, I think that is the best solution. Social emotional learning programs can prevent bullying, which will prevent school shooting. But arming school staff is only trying to put a band-aid in a bullet hole, in my opinion. 
Um, so uh, that's basically the discussion. I think that it's not prevented by arming staff members uh, because, you know, survivors of school shootings are severely affected, not only physically, but also emotionally. And should we prevent emotional, emotional harm or should we be curing it later? By arming school teachers, we are um, waiting for the bad things to happen. I think that we should prevent bad things from happening first. And, and the way of doing it is by preventing bullying, which is the number one cause, also preventing drugs from being in schools, and also uh, preventing fights from happening. So basically having health, a healthy environment for, um, for our students. Uh, thank you very much. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you.